So here's what I did. I made $100,000 on Upwork, $25,000 on Fiverr, more than $16,000 on Medium.com, and the best of them, $0 on YouTube. Can you at least subscribe? Here's what happened. A year ago, I looked at this guy and I noticed that this guy has made $1 million on YouTube. And then another guy who made $3 million. Now, when I look at their product or at their videos, they're very good edit, well edited videos, but in terms of content, it's not out of this world, you know? It's not something I couldn't come up with. Yep, they can talk about productivity. Yes, they can talk about how to make money from dividends and so on. So I thought, you know what? Why wouldn't I give this a shot? But first you have to know, I had a lot of time to spare last year because I was making more money than, I, than what I needed. I had some stories because I work in the world of business, so I have a lot of stories to share with this world. I know how to edit videos in general to a level that I would at least start, you know? So it all sounded logical to me, even if it's it was the year of 2022. I was like, why not? And that's where it started. So you know how you say, if you want to do something, you have to do it right? That's not how they say. Anyway, so I went to purchase a whole setup. I purchased a camera. I purchased a tripod for the camera. I purchased some lights, a microphone, and a holder, an arm for that microphone. And I even purchased an X, a new computer, just to be able to, to handle the editing software that I will be having. So I spent close to $5,000 just to have myself ready. In terms of a studio, I didn't invest in a studio. But as you can see, my background is acceptable. But I did choose a part of the house that wasn't that used. And I just put plain background or just put some small additions to it. Then I thought I had a good enough quality of video to start creating content. My theory was that people will really appreciate the quality of content. Even if the quality of footage and audio is not 100% like those guys, but at least the content is good. So I started. First thing that I did was I started creating a strategy. I was like, okay, if I just start writing videos or recording videos, I don't think they're going to spread that much. It's going to take time, but it's not going to spread that much. And according to YouTube, I need a, at least a thousand subscribers in order to monetize. That's what I thought that was the only requirement. Truth is there was an additional requirement, which is 4,000 watching hours, but I didn't care about that much. 1,000 subscribers seemed to be the challenge. So I thought, okay, what is something that could get me 1,000 subscribers in a very short amount of time? And then I thought of TikTok. TikTok used to spread everything. Like you could get a video that has a million views instantly. And so I thought, okay, YouTube also has YouTube shorts. So why don't I just start my strategy by focusing on short form videos for a very long time until I get 1000 subscribers. And then I start with the long form videos and from then start monetizing. You know, it would be a good investment of time because shorts are not going to take that much time to record. And once I have 1000 subscribers, I'll be able to monetize. So each long video is really monetizable per se. It's not wasted time. But then I realized that there were 4000 watching hours required and they can't be from shorts. So all these ideas were scrapped after six months. I started my short strategy, which was not that successful. I got around, at the moment of recording this, I have around 191 or 192 subscribers, which is so low, but the shorts did sometimes, when they're successful, they would get me five or, or sometimes even 10 subscribers instantly, if it's a good short. My only problem with this was that I had to be extremely funny and I had to not speak about what I really want to speak about. I want to speak about my niche of the business world. So if I do this with YouTube Shorts, I'm not going to be doing what I really want. So I scratched these plans of Shorts a while after that, six months, when I had like around 150 subscribers. And I thought, you know what, we're just doing this for what it is. So let's do long term, long form videos like those and just talk about what we love. So I started. So then I thought and I started recording long videos about things that I really like, like pitch decks and investment documents. And a few, a few videos actually trended 
and I mean by trended I've uh, they just made around 4,000 5,000 views and they got me like 20 subscribers each which is really good the more because you know I had around 20 200 so 20 is really good and uh, for those I noticed that I used names of companies like Tesla or like Elon Musk and people started to look at it because the YouTube algorithm spreads it so that was my strategy and I thought I knew it all it was like wow okay now you get it let's just keep doing that and this is how it is so then I thought and then a few videos after that showed me that no they're not really getting you a lot of subscribers it was only two anomalies so I was like I don't know what to do so what can we do and then I found a research tab in the Google Analytics where I could just ask Google what 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 do people want to listen to in YouTube videos and then they would tell me okay there is a hot content gap in this area like side hustles or how to make money from home so you should talk about that and then I was sure I knew it I was like but again that wasn't entirely true a few videos after in the research tab like I researched some things to write about and then I record videos about them and they didn't trend as much as the other ones did so I was pretty sure at this stage that I have no idea how the YouTube algorithm works. I even consulted with a YouTuber who has more than 500,000 subscribers and I benefited a lot from this consultation and from then I just started to apply a lot of things. But the truth is, I have no idea how this algorithm is going to work, but I do know how to work what I'm doing is right now and what my strategy is. This is for you in case you're interested in listening to a person who's not really succeeding at the moment at YouTube. You're going to find a lot of videos of people online telling you this is how I made a thousand views, this is how I made 10,000 views, but you're not going to listen to the other millions of people who didn't really make a lot of money or make any money from YouTube. So this is one of them and this is my strategy. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please tell me, oh, you should be doing that. Oh no, this is better. I tried that share your experiences here i want to learn from you rather than the other way around so my strategy for the upcoming years are threefold number one is cross promoting what do i mean by that i have a blog and a website called albuzzy.com which is my startup now when i put my youtube videos there they keep getting views because the website itself keeps getting views and because i keep writing content for it seo wise so when I cross promote my videos with other channels like my Medium account or my, my startup, I think this is a very good strategy to maintain long term views and subscribers over a very long amount of time. Secondly, I focus on the quality of videos. Sometimes editing could take me three hours, editing could take me four hours. I try as much as possible to edit in a way that the viewer, you, would really like. I mean, the maximum that I really could provide. I'm not the best editor in the world, but I do my best in this area. And finally, I like to experiment. So this video is an experiment. The next video is an experiment. The one before is an experiment. I like to experiment and I like to try giving value through the videos. And some of them is going to work out and I have to accept that. And I have to also make sure that others are not going to work out. And that's totally normal. It's a journey. And how it works is something you're not going to be able to predict, but living through it is the best thing you can do. If you enjoyed my story of how I'm failing at the moment at YouTube, please subscribe so that I would fail less or so that I'll tell you more failure stories in the future. But have a good day.